Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. So I'm starting a series on just beginner basics making journal things. This one is going to be an envelope journal base. Okay. Um, then I'm going to make a file folder base, a chipboard base. I'm going to, not in this video. Okay. I'm going to make bookboard base. I'm going to show you how to start. A lot of people love doing this and a lot of people would love to do this. So now this isn't like you have to do it this way. Okay. This is just my way. I find the easiest way to do something for me and then I do it that way. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in these in this series of videos. Okay. So this one is envelope. You can use any kind of envelopes you want. These ones I'm using four large and they are eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I'm sure that the manufacturer probably sold them to me at nine by six. Yeah. But you know, when you actually measure something and it turns out a little different, that's what that happened. Okay. And two small ones. Um, these are six and a quarter by four and a half. Um, if you don't want to use the small ones in this particular thing, when if you're crafting along, just skip that part. But I just thought I'd show you how to put a couple of little, uh, fold outs into the journal once we get it together. Okay, let's put these aside. Now, what I'm going to show you first is with every envelope, whether you've got a nice one, I think of these as nice ones, okay, because I like the vintage look and these have a really nice, they do that well. So every envelope, whether it's a junk mail envelope to the super nice envelopes, you need to go in and you need to check because these are not all glued down. Generally, they're never glued down. So just figure it that way, okay? So I don't worry about this part up in here not being glued so good because with me, I mat that. And so it's all covered over anyways, okay? So if you're not gonna mat this, if you're gonna use it like as, you're gonna have it as a pocket, which we're not gonna do that in this video, then you would wanna glue all that down. But I do the corners, <clears throat> excuse me, I do the corners so that those are down because they will give you grief. Even when you're matting, uh, that's going to be exposed. So, um, yeah, just do the, do the corners of every envelope. Okay. Sometimes people want to shortcut things and stuff. It doesn't help you if you shortcut it. Just go ahead and take your time ever how many envelopes you're going to use and do those corners up because yeah, you'll regret it later if you don't just I'm giving you the mom stuff, but yeah. Okay. So I did the others already off camera because you don't need to see me do that a whole six times, you know, cause I did the big ones and the little ones. Anyways, moving on, we're going to take our first envelope and turn our flap back. Okay. Pretty simple so far. We're going to set it aside. This one we're going to take my notes out of my way. <clears throat> For this craft along tutorial, you're going to need as many envelopes as you're going to use. I'm using four big ones, like I said, and then the two small ones. And some fabric and some glue. Super simple and short list. I just wanted to train that to go backwards. Okay. So I'm going to put, you know, the gummy part where you would moisten that to seal up the envelope. Um, I'm going to put glue there. It gives you a good line on where to put it. <laughs> now you can use whatever adhesive you want to use. And if you're just starting out, just use the cheapy stuff. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. You don't have to get all the expensive this is and that. Just use the cheapy stuff until you get really good at it. And then, then go in and buy the more, you know, pricey stuff. Um, That'll be fine. But, you know, take your time and... Okay, you're going to line them up at the bottom of each envelope. You're going to line that up together. Hope you can see that. And then you're going to just kind of hold them and stack them together on the sides. And train that to just sit down there like so. 
Now you see what I did? I just adhered this part to this envelope, okay? And if you didn't get that whole thing, don't worry. I'm going to do it again. And if you, you know, if you need to, you can always rewind me. I'm just as friendly the next time around. Okay? So we're going to put that one aside. And here we go. I just want to train this to go backwards because when I put it down to that envelope, it's going to be that way, right? So, yeah. So we're going to do it again. We're going to put the glue. You can use glue stick. You can use... Um, double side tape if you like that I like that uh, but for this it's just quick and easy just to use a little glue here and you don't have to be super super fanatic about it just get enough on there to give it a good adherence okay once again same thing you're just going to line those up at the bottom and at the top and just kind of make sure your sides are together stack it like you're stacking a bunch of papers right and then press it down. I always open this up because you can take it for granted if you wish. But I like to kind of make sure I didn't have any glue ooze out on this one. I didn't. But sometimes that happens. That just means you got enough in there. It doesn't. It's not bad. Just make sure you don't stick this part here to this part. So you just want to make sure your glue didn't cause you problems. Okay. So here we go again. Same thing. Now, I know, if I did it more than this, you would really get sick of me doing this. But, you know, sometimes when we're making a journal, we want to make something that's good quality. And we want to make, um, we want to make sure that we get a good everything going on it. So, I decided four is a good, now you can do this with three. I've done three ones. I've done more than that. You can, um... Use as many as you want, or as little as you want. Uh, I remember back in the day when I, when I got two of them to line up and sit in there and do just right, I was so excited. I had to do a happy dance or something, at least a verbal one. I was all about the woohoo, I did it, you know. So once again, same thing, just line them up, give them a good stacking, and then press. Make sure you didn't ooze out. Yeah, press that down really good. So that's that's at least the beginning of it. So we've got these together, and these are going to be your main pages for this kind of a journal. And I'll show you how we build that in a minute. What we're going to do now is we're going to just sort of get this used to. It's new. It's going to have to gently fold over. You don't want to you don't want to pull this down and press it real hard. That's not going to help you any. So you want it to have sort of a, a spiny kind of crease thing going on there so that you've got room for this. You don't want to press that. You don't want to squash it. You want to leave that to where it can expand, okay? So you want to have this having room in there. And you can take, um, it's not necessary, but you can take a scoreboard and score it if you wish. But this works just as, as good. And, you know, you just want to have it to where it's loosely, loosely um, there, and then you put your glue on, okay? You don't want to glue in this area. You don't want to glue this down because you want that to be able to expand, okay? So we're going to take right here and just glue this, again, the gummy part where you would moisten it and stick it down if you were sending it through the mail. So we're going to do that. And then I'll show you what's next. To me, this is fun. A lot of people are like, oh, that's the work of it. It is the work of it. Because you do have to put all these together and line them up as straight-ish as possible, right? So, you just, you know, I don't, you can do this watching TV. As long as you're watching your ends and making sure they're, <laughs> making sure you're lined up. Okay? So, there you go. You've got that. And you've got this right okay so if you're making a journal and you're gonna put an, a signature in it we are making a journal I don't know why I said if you're gonna put a signature in I would put it in the middle okay 
Um, all right, next, I'm going to take my little scissors here. Any scissors will do. It's not, you don't have to do a, you know, super big deal. And you're just going to take the tiniest little bit off the end of this one. Okay. Now, if you're, if you're scared to do this, just practice. I know some people can get intimidated by it. And you can run off. Uh, your scissors can run off the edge. And then you go, oh, no. You know, just turn it around start from the other end. <laughs> That's the easiest way to handle that. But, yeah, just the, the tiniest little bitty bit. Just, you know, just to open this up. Yeah, like so. And we're going to do it one more time because we're tempting fate on camera. Okay. <laughs> it's not that hard. Um, and you can, if, if cutting a tiny little bit off uh, is intimidating, you can go ahead and cut more than a tiny bit off. You could use a trimmer to do this. If you have a trimmer that you can just stick this in and, you know, it's all up to you. Once you get the base built, that's when the fun... Well, this is fun to me, but that's when the fun of, of, mm, anyways, that little bit of it. Um, that's when the fun of designing and creating the, you know, all the different things. Okay, so we've got these ones open. So what we're going to do now is take one of our small ones. And like I said, you do those corners, even on the small ones, because, yeah, they're not, you know. And we're going to stick it in here like so, so that we have a fold out. Okay? Now, you can put it on this side or this side. And I think I might put it on this side because I'm planning on using this particular base as a journal and I'll have a signature in it. Of course, I'm using it as a journal. Why do I keep saying that? I mean, I'm planning on putting a signature in it is what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyways... Oh, I'll get myself together eventually. Okay, so I'm going to put it to fold out this way. And then on this one, I'm going to put this one to fold back here. That way you don't put all your bulk in the same place. Because the signature will be in here. And, you know, you. with me, I'm always making things kind of bulky. Because I like to put stuff in there, right? Okay, so what you do to do this is... You kind of get this to, you know, behave in itself. You want it to be as straight as possible because you're going to stick it in there straight. Um, and then again, on the gummy part that you would use, and you're only going to stick this on one side, okay? Don't stick both sides because that would just close up your pocket that you just opened, right? So we're going to put the glue on the gummy part. Yep. And then we are going to stick it down in here. Now, you can use the same size envelope to do this with, but I would practice with the little ones first because they <sighs> lining them up can get to be a, a son of a gun. And you want to reach in here and make sure that you didn't get glue somewhere that you didn't need it to be, right? Okay, so, there. It's ready to, all this is just getting it ready to mat. Okay? Uh, by matting, I mean putting pretty decorative paper on this uh, so that this is your border around your paper, right? So that's what, that's what I'm talking about with that. So on this one, once again, we're going to do this same thing, only the other direction. So... On the gummy part and yeah once you get a few of these bases to where you can just do them your, your imagination is your only limit you can go and make any kind of journal that you see any other person making with just the, some simple basics um, some people call them that other word but I don't call them that other word I call them like Scrapbooking journals, or they can be called, um, I want them to line up, so, 
uh, so when if you want them to line up, you just pull the other one up and line it up that way. So uh, scrapbooking journals, memory journals, I don't know, fun interactive journals. I call them a lot of things like that. I don't call them junk, okay? But uh, anyways, there you go. Just make sure that you don't close your pocket because that's a big pocket for an insert. I usually put like a little notebook or some kind of element that I'm doing for the specific journal. I'll put it in there. Now you think we're done? Nope. If you want to do the whole base, which we want to do the whole base so that you have everything you need to make a journal base. And then from there, it's just the sky's the limit, right? Okay. I'm going to take some of this. I want it to just, I don't need a whole lot, but I'm just going to put some fabric here. Now you can use fabric tape. You can use Tyvek, but uh, that's expensive. So I generally, I don't know that I've ever really used any. I have used it, but it's been a long time ago and I don't do it anymore because it's really pricey. Um, so no, um, I use fabric because you can get some good deals on fabric and you can make it match whatever you're going to do. This journal is going to be a baby journal. So yellow works. It's kind of a yellowy look, right? Kind of, sort of, uh, anyways, so I just need that much and that much more. So I'm going to snip it here. I don't mind the frayed look. I kind of like the frayed look. So hopefully I can. You know, when you get on camera. <laughs> yep. Okay, there. <sighs> all right, then, you know, just straighten out your fabric and all that kind of stuff. What I do is I get one end the way I want it to be on one end, and then I'll just work to the other end and trim off. If you, you could lay it this way, you know, and have it, I don't want to trim both ends, so I'm going to do, I'm going to work it from the top to the bottom, and then I'll trim that off when I'm done. Does that make sense? Hope so. Okay, so I'm going to do about that far out-ish. My next little trick is don't leave these glue marks, okay? Because even if you've got thick fabric, you have the uh, opportunity for those glue marks to permanently look wet under your fabric, okay? You, you, that doesn't look pretty. Then you have to cover that up, and then you have to cover that up, and it's just better to smudge them out with the finger tool, is what I do. Yeah, just smudge it right out with the finger tool, and then stick it on there. Okay? as straight-ish as possible. Now, this is gonna get mostly covered up with when I start matting this journal, so I don't really worry about a whole lot of the, you know, the fraying on this. But like I said, if I'm doing one and it's gonna be sticking out, because sometimes I'll make them and they'll just, you know, have the frayed part sticking out, I'll just, you know, leave a lot of the fray on there and. It looks pretty, like a little fringe, right? But this will be covered. So there's that. Let me get some of it off before I put it down. Okay, same thing on the back. We're just going to do this and smudge it like so. And then press it down and do some more. My glue dries really fast, so I have to go back and, you know, I just wanted to get a good start on it so I can hurry. <laughs> uh, hurrying isn't always your friend when you're making something like this, but yeah, it'll be fine this time. <clears throat> okay, now, like I said, I'm going to have... Um, this as a, see there? Is that cool or what? This is going to be a, a baby journal that I'm working on in another thing. And, I mean, everything I do has got to have some kind of functionality to it. I just like that kind of thing. 
Okay, I'm just going to take this and trim it here. Not all the way to the flush with this, but close-ish. Um, and there we are. I like that sticking up there. I'm good with that. <laughs> I may... No, I think I'll leave that. It's pretty. And for a baby journal, it'll be really cute. So, yeah. There you go. The base for any journal, any journal using any paper, you can use Stamperia, you can use my digitals, you can use whatever you want to use. Uh, I've got just gobs and gobs of freebies on my website that you can get and practice with. It's really easy to do. Uh, and I'll leave instructions on how to go get them. You don't have to give me your address, your email address. You don't have to register on my site. Just go get them. They're completely, completely free. So, and you can practice. You can mat these with something really pretty. You can just, you know, give it a good practice. Because that's, that's how we get good at stuff, is just practice. Doing our um, repetitive shots. Excuse me, I'm a basketball fan. But, you know, it's, uh, yeah, just practice and practice and practice. I don't promise perfection. <laughs> I don't do perfection in what I do. I do straight-ish and the best I can. And if you stick with doing it in that way, you're going to have fun doing this. You're going to enjoy yourself. And you're going to come out with something really beautiful. Because even if you muff it up, just cover it up. And like I've said before many, many times, that's what lace is for. You just cover it up with something pretty, put some lace on there, and nobody knows that you muffed it up. So there you go. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this. This is going to be, uh, the next one will be the fall folder base. And I'll have a few bases in my uh, stash to be building journals on. The file folder's next, then the chipboard, then the bookboard. Yep. It's all sort of basically just putting things together and seeing what you want. Okay? I'll quit rambling now. You guys have fun with this. Give it a try. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I'll do what I can to help you out. I'm not... Um, you know, the extreme expert on anything, but I do enjoy doing this, so. Yep. Uh, oh, and if if you make a comment below, even if it's just to say hi, you're entered into my drawing. When I get to 700, I'm giving away a free digital kit from my Etsy shop, and from 700 to 800, I'm giving another one away. 800 to 900, another one. 900 to 1,000, another one. So that's I don't know. That's all those. Any journal kit that's in my Etsy shop, I will send you the files to. If you win. <laughs> in the draw. Okay? So, yes. I'm trying to remember everything that I'm supposed to say. Okay? You guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. TTFN. Thank you.